your name. I, Steve Corker, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will support the Constitution and laws of the United States of America. That I will support the law and the Constitution of the United States of America. And the Constitution and laws of the State of Washington. The Constitution and the laws of the State of Washington. And that I will faithfully and impartially. That I will faithfully and impartially. Perform and discharge. Perform and discharge. The duties of Council Member District 3, Position 1. The duties of Council Member District 3, Position 1. According to law. According to law. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Father Costello, Judge Peterson, for participation tonight. And I'd like to also congratulate Joe Shuckett as the Spokane City Council President. And Joe, I look forward to working with you in the next four years. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you. I'd like to thank the voters of Spokane giving me the opportunity to serve the citizens of this great city once again. This is a city I love. This is a city which has been my home for 40 years. The city which raised my children. And tonight I'm grateful, I'm humbled, and I'm ready to go to work. The past 10 years have presented a lot of challenges to this great city. While the vitality of our economy is approved, we've seen great strides taken in revitalization and development. Even our streets are being rehabilitated. But I think what is now required of the political leadership of this city is to provide political stability and political continuity. I believe that the voters in this last election entrusted to each one of us will be serving on the City Council and to our new mayor to do exactly that. I want to take a minute to compliment and to thank the employees of the City of Spokane. I've watched them observe the challenges that the city has faced. There have been fiscal issues, there's been controversy, and there's been an unbelievable rapid change of political leadership. And through it all, I've admired the dedication that each and every one of them have given to this city, all 2,000 plus. When they faced morale challenges, when they faced uncertainty, they did their jobs and they did them well. And we owe it to you and we owe it to all the citizens of this great city to provide stable, ethical, and confident leadership. I'm going to work as hard as I can and do all that I can to work positively with elected officials and with the city's executive leadership to do exactly that. I want to thank Helen for her support, for her encouragement, and for her continued belief in me. To my close friend Al French, I want to thank you for encouraging me to seek this office. And to Nancy McLaughlin, my fellow District 3 representative, I want to thank you once again for reminding me two years ago how to campaign. <laughs> Nancy, I admire the commitment that you have made to this office, to your dedication, and to your responsibility. And I'm honored to serve with you as I am with each and every member of this city council. My opponent in this recent race is in the audience. 
I want to thank him for an honorable campaign. There were 16 individuals who offered their time and service for the opportunity to serve this great city. And I want to thank him for the time and dedication he gave to that effort, and again, for the honorable campaign he ran. I look out in this audience and I see so many people that I need to thank. Individuals who placed signs, who contributed, and who encouraged me through the entire opportunity. I thank each and every one of you, and I pledge you tonight to honor that trust that you've been placed in me. So help me God. Thank you.